And it is the morning after the night before. I am just tired. I probably had about three hours sleep. Totally did not remember that I have a phone call to do at 10 a.m. Oh my god, we got on Skype with him. Dude, I'm vlogging your shirt. Show me. Is that better? Show me. Oh my god. Dude, is that a limited edition? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, how you doing, bro? So this wizard right here, dude, how much money did you know donate for charity then? I donated 500 pounds out of my own. What? It was for an absolutely great cause, so like, honestly, yeah. cannot thank you enough. You are honestly a really great guy, so thank you. What's your real name? My name's Tyler. Tyler, it's a pleasure to meet you, my friend. This is why I can't have nice things. I totally forgot to water my plant and it's as dry as Gandhi's flip-flop. So because I only got in at like uh, 5 o'clock probably last night in the morning uh, and it's 10 a.m. I'm just going to go in here into my room, say goodbye to the world and go back to sleep for two hours until I have to do more Skype calls uh, thanking your legends faces for donating some money for charity. So I'm going to bed. Catch you guys in a bit. This is Sharif. Sharif, say hello. Hello. Dude, you're a wizard. You donated, am I right, 750, is it dollars? Uh, dollars. $750 to the Prize Yo campaign for charity for motor neuron disease. Yeah. Dude, one, you're a legend, and two, that is a crazy amount of money. Next time, always spend it on yourself, and then make sure you've got money for charity, because that is a crazy... What went through your head? <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about uh, donating, and it's the first time I've actually donated to a uh, charity, so I thought, why not go out and do that much? I do. Hey, well, you're a really nice guy, and that's really awesome of you. So, thank you very much for supporting the cause. Excuse me, Taylor, you're going to my vlog right now. Can you show your shirt? That sounds so like sexual, but like, I thought you were rocking a Syndicate original shirt. That's what I like to see. You got the wristbands as well? Yeah. Wait. Oh God, this is this is difficult now. Now I'm struggling, dude. Snap. You got both of them? Uh, yeah. Oh, see, you know what, Luke? He knows what he's doing about this guy. This guy's got fashion and swim. Genuinely, because I like this guy so much, I decided to mod him on our tw on my Twitch right now. Uh, just super out the blue. You're a really down to earth guy, so hopefully you do a good job of being a mod. Is that right? You're gonna do the best job ever. Yes, I yeah. will. I'll strike down anybody. <laughs> Dude, if I thank need you. To. <laughs> yeah, you used to call me on my cell phone late at night when you need dick. Sorry, I've been singing that out loud for the last ten minutes. You used to call me on my cell phone. My hair looks like a quiff. 420 blaze it. What the hell is it doing? It's 420 blazing it. Well, Luke does always take me to the most random of places. Right now we're at a place called Trunk Club. Ta-da! Where, I think you believe you come here, they fit you, you can get like suits, like all designer clothes and all that sort of stuff. But, oh, okay, look. There's a bar, pool table, ping pong and all that sort of stuff. I don't really need anything, I'm just probably gonna have a look at jackets, but we're here for Luke to pick up some shoes, which he's probably gonna extend to a shirt, which then will extend to socks, then to pants and everything. And he's gonna spend so much money. And they just said, do you wanna, get, do you wanna play a game of pool? And I was like, after yesterday's shenanigans? No. This is what we're doing right now. I know, look at that, so fancy. Sorry, I'm just making a video. Little video. So that, try, to, try to get something a little bit, a little bit smarter, sharper, for just going out wherever. Let's see how it goes. It's got a trunk lid. Then what they do as well is they'll ship you like a box full of clothes and you just like for free but then you pick which one you want and when you send the clothes back they go oh he's taking out a t-shirt and like a pair of socks then they charge you for that instead so it's basically just take what you want if you don't want anything send it back and every month you get a new box of a potential swag so pretty cool concept but at the same time i'm the kind of guy who just walks into a store and goes that one walks out you know no fucking around keep it simple Ugh, just realized i gotta fly home tomorrow Coming back to the UK, going to London for like two days work, back for my mum's birthday, and then the day after my mum's birthday, flying back out to LA. It's gonna be a very, very busy next few days. Lots of tired Tom and probably late vlogs. Look at this sunset and view. Oh my God, that is amazing. It's just so, so beautiful. Isn't it, Luke? It's gorgeous. Isn't it? I don't know why I found this so funny, but how big was the goddamn potato that made this? Look at the size of it. Cheers, Luke. Hair of the dog. Look at the size. <laughs> this is the difference between you being a man and me just being a little bitch. I really want to see this film so damn bad. Ryan Reynolds is going to be a beast. We're just looking at all these weird paintings over here. Does that not look like Gabe Newell, the owner of Valve? He's like, I've made so much money off Tom's knives. If there's one place I don't want to be right now, it's in the car about to drive to the store. Where I want to be right now is in bed. Isn't Tom in bed? I'm going to go to the store and get some cold sore cream. That absolutely fucking sucks because one, I didn't kiss anyone or make out with anyone recently to get this. So 
That's fucking awesome. What it basically means is that last night at that party I went to, one of the shot glasses that I must have drank out of, someone must have had a cold sore and I've now got it off then. So to whoever that was, thank you fucking greatly. Nice one. And more so because I've got to go to the UK tomorrow and then the day after I'm doing two days of filming for a show and I'm going to have this fucking welt on my fucking face the entire time. Also, side note, do you remember when I went to Subway and was like, oh my God, I'm starving hungry. Went and got stuff. Went to Subway and was like dead stoked for it. And then you never saw me eat it in the video. Yeah, it's because I left it in the car. Great. Wee wee wee. Well, well, well. We got the cold sore cream. Sweet stuff. Used it before. Should be going in a few days or hopefully a day. That'd be nice. Uh, but also, got in my car and you know I'm renting a car right now. I've got to take it back. I was going to take it back tomorrow when I went to the airport. But I got in and was like, I'll just check the ticket to see what time I need to return it or what day. And it actually needs returning today by 10 p.m. It's nine o'clock now, so this is actually great timing the way it's panned out. So let's go to the airport. Sweet! Made it to the returns. Uh, now I've just got to have someone check over the car, make sure it's not damaged and all that. And uh, we've got the green light, taxi home, go to bed. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute beauty. She was great fun, expensive, but it did the job. Learned how to snowboard. Great success. I'm genuinely so damn tired. I've now got to try and find a place to find a taxi from. As long as he gives me the green light. Now that is an industrial car wash. I was hoping to see maybe some Audi R8s or something like that just parked up in the luxury section, but. I didn't seem to see any. Either way, we're walking home, boys. We're walking home. Secondly, it's starting to feel it uh, in the lower part of your body. And then what can I play for you? What? The hell? Ben Stiller is triggering Siri on my mobile phone. All right, so the video has been rendering for an hour and 30 minutes and there's an hour and 20 left. Probably going to be an actual extra two hours. The longer it gets, the longer it takes. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to turn this off and go to bed. Oh shit. I am really not sure why I'm still awake at half past one in the morning, but either way, everything's gonna go pretty much off. So in the morning, I'm gonna have like a massive feast and just make an omelet containing anything in this fridge that is gonna go off, which is pretty much just like 20 slices of ham and a yogurt. But it's all gonna go off, so is the milk. So I'm gonna use the coolest mug in the world. Again, shout out to the fans from New York who hooked me up by style with this Call of Duty zombie mug. I'm gonna have a nice big hot chocolate made from Nesquik, we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, go to bed. That's my plan. Update, it's absolutely delicious. Oh my God, I just feel like I've hit the jackpot. I just was like going through to see when the date's got and I was like, there's my ham to make a sandwich with tomorrow. And I forgot that I totally bought part of my ham. This is my all time favorite food. And I just want to get in bed, watch Netflix. I don't know why I'm staying awake. Like it, I, I could go to bed at 10 a.m. at p.m. and just have like the best night's sleep ever. But instead I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna stay up, watch Netflix, gonna watch the Avengers like cartoon thing that I'm currently watching. So as I've seen every other TV show possible. And uh, yeah, just eat Parma ham like a fat person. This is what I do with my nights, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I do. This is how you wake up nearly every single person in the apartment building. Are you ready? This is gonna be so noisy. I want to sunbathe as much as possible so I can get in the sun and have a time for going back to the UK because like I said, I'm going to be on camera doing, uh, I think I think I'm allowed to say, Legends of Gaming. So I'm going to be doing some Legends of Gaming stuff if that all goes ahead um, without this fucking thing. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to just say, oh, it's just a call so don't worry about it, it'll disappear, but I'm going to be on camera recording like crap tons of videos um, and I'm going to have this the entire time. You always want to look your best when you're on camera. Uh, I don't really care about the daily vlogs, it's like whatever, you know, I just get out of bed and look like a potato most of the time, so that's fine, but when I'm doing like a big shoot sort of thing, I, you know, you want to look good, so like when other people see it, they're like, okay, yeah, it looks normal, rather than going like, this guy looks like a pale snowman with AIDS on his face. So tomorrow I'm going to be flying back to the UK. I'm going to be going there for literally like four or five days. I think it's I think it's five days I'm going back for. And the main reason for me going back is Valentine's Day. You might be like, oh, he's going seeing a bay. Who's bay? Is she real? No, she's this person right here. I'm actually going back for Valentine's Day. It's my mum's birthday actually. She's going to be 51. Uh, my mum's going to throw a party at, at my house and there's just going to be drunk 51 year old women running around the house and I'm just going to be like, okay, you girls, just do whatever the fuck you've got to do. I'm going to lock myself in my office, play video games and live stream whilst the house gets trashed. Wouldn't it be funny if my mum actually trashed my house more than any of like me and my friends have ever partied harder in my life. Like I wake up in the morning, there's like three dead bodies floating in the pool. There's like women hanging upside down on the staircase and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on with my life? But I'm looking forward to going to see my mum and uh, I just said like, I really did not want to miss her birthday whatsoever. So I'm going to fly home, see her, give her a present. I don't really, I don't, oh shit, I got to get her a present. I don't even know what to do. Oh my God, leave me a comment down below what I should get her. 
I totally overlooked this. Well, I'm uh, yeah, late night shopping for a present for my mum. So if you guys have enjoyed today's vlog, guys, make sure you leave a like, rate, and subscribe to see more random stuff that happens in my life. This is just like a daily vlog documentary style of shenanigans and uh, and alcohol and, uh, and losing money of, of my life. So if you guys have been enjoying it so far, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll do a plane traveling vlog tomorrow. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that because everyone seems to love the, the ones where I travel on planes and stuff. But this time we're not going business class or anything because it would have cost so much money. I'm just flying standard. So you'll uh, you'll see that style of traveling. So yeah, it's going to be really awkward vlogging next to the person like sat right next to me. Shit. Make sure you leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow 6pm UK time for your faces being awesome. Goodbye.